<laughs> Another corrective commentary is required of the Maverick this evening. As seeing a whole heap of comparisons be made in sports between individual players and teams amongst contemporaries and across eras. But the nuance I have to address this evening is in this nonsense that in comparing greatness, things like style and appeal and fan satisfaction don't matter. It's just about the results. So implicit in that nonsense is that a pile driver from 40 yards out or a bicycle kick from the edge of the box is no greater a goal than a toe poke over the line. <laughs> Them say a goal is just a goal. Or that a stylish, stroke-filled Brian Lara 100 is no greater than one of Shiv Shandapal's boring scratch-scratch centuries. A century is just a century. Or that a Steph Curry dropping 15 three-pointers in a game is no greater shooting performance than Dwight Howard scoring 45 tipping points from inside the paint. 45 points is just 45 points. <laughs> and it's not done yet. Because by this reasoning, Floyd Mayweather Jr. dodging and hiding for a 12-round split decision is just as great as Muhammad Ali elegantly skipping and jabbing and punching and knocking out George Foreman. A win is just a win. <laughs> Implicit in this nonsense theory is that things like degree of difficulty and stylishness and sensational appeal should not count in the analysis of sports performances and ultimately in the greatness of the performers of these feats. So let's talk about memorable performers that leave indelible mark. No such thing as say. A result is just a result. <laughs> but you know, I want to leave them with this one. Yeah? You know what I mean? The Maverick. Walking out. A full, full argument. Google that. <laughs> <laughs>